Yao Yao was advised to return to Imperial City because her grandma is dying and Bo Jinlan already picked up Yao Yao from her college heading to the airport. The traffic jam here is on another level. When are we going to get to their court in a traffic jam? It's probably in peak hours where the traffic congestion is tend to happen whatever. I'll just sleep for a while it might take like forever to arrive at the airport, to kill time. Yao Yao chose to sleep in the car some time has passed and Yao Yao is already fast asleep in the car President Bo, that information is already sent to USHH yes, yes, I understand his, it's so ticklish her lips are still so attractive, although I've tasted them before but it's not enough, it's still not enough if she finds out about this secret kiss then I'll just confess directly to her face to face I'm awake. What exactly was I expecting? Oh no I got caught President Bo, I didn't mean to do you need to be so stingy? Airport Madam Bo, please have some drink first why do you still call me Madam Bo? Didn't I make everything clear on WeChat yesterday? Madam Bo. You misunderstood yesterday afternoon it was Mr. Bo who what's wrong with me? Nothing President Bo, I'm going to buy something to eat you should take care of your subordinate and don't let him call out any names as he likes then what should I tell him to call you? What the hell, you dare to cast a greedy eyes on a man with girlfriend? Do you think I don't exist? What's wrong? What are you doing? Nothing I only think there's nothing interesting to see I need to use the restroom just now. She was looking at Li Jing anything I can help, President Bo? Got it, President Bo looking for me? Hello, miss, that gentleman is my boss, and he asked me to pass on something to you what did he want to say to me? It's really something that this top notch handsome guy can actually initiate a conversation my boss said that his girlfriend is jealous, so please stop looking at him and it's best to change the seat so that his girlfriend can't see you thank you. Arriving at the hospital in the Imperial City, where Yao Yao's grandma is being treated they are still inside the car, and Yao Yao suddenly realized about something when she was touching up her makeup she doesn't want his further to know about her relationship with Bo Jinlan stop here I'll help you send your luggage to the Cheng family. Good idea my father is in front just drive faster when you leave later, so you won't get caught yeah, you just go ahead President Bo, are we really going to leave just like this? Five minutes later, drive the car over again and stop Yao Yao, long time no see, you're getting more and more prettier Jiang Hongzu, Jiang Yao Yao's father, chairman of Jiang Group Ning Wangxi, Jiang Ye Oi Ao's stepmother, the mistress who rose to power what an insolent child didn't you hear your aunt talking to you, you don't even know how to greet your elders Hongzu, don't be like this Yao Yao definitely didn't mean it she must have been too tired to pay attention to anyone I did it on purpose your madam Jiang position, is already so secure, why do you still have to put on an act to please me, don't you feel disgusted yourself? Hong Zhu, I didn't is this how the Cheng family has educated you in the past five years? Respect your elders, that is the most basic etiquette what kind of elder is she? Knowing that you have a family, yet shamelessly crawling into your bed to conceive your child I would not give f to this kind of elder Jiang Yao Yao Bo Bo Jinlin, why is he here? Didn't I tell him to leave? What is he doing here now hello, Mr. Jiang Mr. Bo, what a coincidence. You came to the hospital to visit your friend. This is? Look at his surprised look there is really no trace of acting this is my daughter, Yao Yao she is studying out of town and came back today to visit the elderly Yao Yao, this is President Bo from the Bo group, greet him quickly greet my Yao Yao is young and immature Mr. Bo, please don't mind it it's okay, it's cold, just let her go inside why do I feel that Bo Jinlin has become easier to talk to sorry to let Mr. Bo see these indecent things, there was a misunderstanding between father and daughter Aoi I was stubborn no, the little girl fits my eye quite well I hope Mr. Jiang won't fail her since Mr. Jiang still has something to do, I will excuse myself first yes, yes, Mr. Bo is right, please take care strange. Didn't Mr. Bo come to the hospital to visit patients? Why did he just leave like that all of a sudden? President Bo, is it alright that Madam Bo is all alone by herself? She doesn't need protection that's right, who can stand up to Madam Bo's little mouth? Let our men in the Jiang family keep on watching if there is any issue, let me know as soon as possible, 
your grandma has just had a surgery and cannot be provoked. Yao Yao finally came to visit her grandma at the hospital. Whatever she says, you just need to nod and agree, do you hear me? If she asks me to help remove the ventilator, should I agree then? You if you keep criticizing me, I'll leave now if you have any last words. Just say them quickly you are still the same as before it seems that the Cheng family has protected you very well these past five years the Xi family will be here soon please speak to them well and don't ruin the harmony. What is the Xi family coming here for? The Xi family has been in bad luck in the past few years as long as the investment is in place, they can quickly recover Xi Jinren and you are dating, and I have already agreed to this marriage. Xi family will come over later to discuss the wedding details so let me come back not to attend your funeral, but to bring you joy. Too bad, I will never get married in this life, so just give up as long as you agree to this marriage, you can ask for whatever conditions you want then what if I want 8% of the shares of Jiang group? I can't miss out this great opportunity to screw the Jiang family no problem she actually agreed it seems that there is something fishy behind the Jiang family and Xi family the wedding's matter is final, and the wedding news will be announced to the public in the next few days I've asked the maids to clean up your room in the Jiang family and it is ready for you to move in at any time okay if you dare to let me come back, then don't even think about living a stable life grandpa, I'm back good, good to have you back but grandpa I'll return to the Jiang family to stay these days but grandpa, I am already 20 years old just have faith in me, I can protect myself grandpa will support you no matter what you do anyway, your room upstairs will always be there. If you are not happy living in the Jiang family, just come back mhm silly girl, why are you crying? It's not about life and death, besides, you're someone with a boyfriend now, as long as you mention his name, who in the Jiang family will dare to pick on you? Grandpa, am I broke up with Bo Jinlin huh? Did he treat you badly? I'll ask Ranzai to call him no, we just don't suit each other I want to forget him as soon as possible and start another sweet relationship Grandpa, please leave him alone alright? Anything you say Jiang family I heard that the real eldest young lady of the Jiang family will come back? Yes, she is one month older than Miss Ying Su, at that time, her mother was still pregnant, and her husband became close to the current Mrs Jiang, which led to the worsening of the former Mrs Jiang's condition shh masters back Yao Yao. Your room upstairs has been tidied up would you like me to take you up for a room touring? Yao Yao. If you need anything that auntie can help, just say it directly then please bother aunt Ning to help me bring all my luggage ok this shouldn't have come back to life here. Sooner or later, I will be infuriated to death by her Yao Yao is your biological daughter, and she will come back to life here. Sooner or later besides, this is also for the company if it weren't for the company's sake, I wouldn't let this scoundrel ride on my head and be arrogant. Yao Yao finally moved in Jiang family her stepmother offered anything she could help and she asked her to carry her luggage so, the stepmother really does as she asked, carrying one of her luggages to her room Ye Oyao, are you satisfied with the room? Whose room is next door? It's Gz where's the next room is facing the garden downstairs, and it's quite enjoyable Ye Oyao, if you like that room, I will let Gz where give it to you ok, then I'll stay here and you can move the luggage and the things in the closet be patient, be patient clear out the closet and move all the suitcases and put the clothes in the suitcase to the wardrobe mum, what are you doing? Why are you moving all my things? Jiang Ying Su, Jiang Ye Oi Ao's stepsister Ye Oi Ao thinks the view from this room is good your older sister just came back, so just give it up to her why should I? Her room is exactly the same as mine. Why should I switch rooms? It seems like your daughter is unwilling to give up her room to me. Does she not welcome me back to the Jiang family? Xue since older sister likes it so much, then I'll just give in. Our family grew up in an orderly manner, I should just give it up to you what a good girl don't worry, your happy life is still ahead where are you going so late? I have an appointment with a friend do you have a car at home? Oh, the red Ferrari in the garage is nice. Just pick that one then you you said that as long as I agree to get married, I can mention whatever conditions, now you are not even willing to give up a sports car is this your sincerity? No way, 
It's my 20th birthday gift from my parents I have never drive it myself it's rare for your sister to come back, just let her drive the car dad give her the key let you both suffer a hard time tonight I owe sister in room more than just an apology in the first place it's natural yay oi ow hates me, don't worry, as long as she agrees to marry Xi Jinren, I will immediately send this wicked girl to the Xi family for now, you and Xue just need to endure it I know, just give yay oi ow some time. I believe she can understand your difficulties bar you are finally here, baby Jason, this is my best friend, yay oi ow, let her try that new cocktail you recently researched I quit drinking because of Bo Jin Lin. what does it have to do with him come on, I know you won't give up on him, so this wine is for you what do you mean, it's named first love is poison Yao Yao came to meet her friend at the bar, her friend said that she should drink this wine because she couldn't give up on Bo Jin Lin. Her first love how is this your friend? Why don't you introduce me? Get lost, she has a boyfriend so what if she has a boyfriend waiter? Give this sis to a glass of overrun the four seas our teacher said that girls should not drink wine offered by strangers in bars what are you afraid of? Oppa will take you home. When you are drunk I see can you not touch me as you please? I wouldn't dare any more let go, your ladyship, my hand is about to break Fenglai. Your acquaintances? SHH I saw Xi Ao Ye Oyao in the bar the young lady is sitting alone and drinking, you don't even have an idea how many wild wolves are around her it seems that President Bo is not chill anymore this girl can't dance as well as me then just go up and dance together I'm not going you go up and do a pole dance, and then I'll do a strip tease if you don't dance. I will tell Bo Jinlin that you think his is too small and can't satisfy your you dare um why are you so coward? He's not here anyway. I don't fear him then let's do it oh ho one more time, one more time pretty girl look at me Jiang Yao Yao, you really have the nerve one more time one more time it's your turn, strip tease stop dancing look, does that person look like Bo Jinlin? Don't change the topic, you must go up and dance today who? Bo Jin Lin? It's really Bo Jin Lin? I, I'm going back first ah, come on. Are you really going to leave? Wait for me why are you running away? When did you learn pole dancing? Your dance was quite enchanting Yao Yao tried to run away before, but Jin Lin caught her hand and stopped her did you also come to the nightclub to dance? No, I'm here to arrest someone did my uncle ask you to come? Alas, I came here with a friend, and I plan to go back now. You tell him, and I promise to be home before o'clock I have to go get my bag first goodbye are you so afraid of your uncle? Can I not be afraid? If you dare to bully my niece again, you will all die the experience of having a rather brutal uncle is that no one dares to bully me, and my friends also keep their distance on top of that, uncle has just been divorced and his personality is even weirder it is better not to provoke him do me a favor and I won't tell your uncle what favor where did Mr. Bo go hey do you think the person standing over the looks like him cooperate with me turns out it's really Mr. Bo do you want to come together it has always been said that Bo Jinlin keeps a clean living and never approaches women isn't this all a rumor he just arrived at the bar and already couldn't wait to have fun with a girl in the corner Mr. Bo please take your time and have fun we won't disturb you for now it seems fine now Everyone has left what's wrong? Don't you want to get your bag? Just go ahead um there's something on your face what is it? My my lipstick this side? The left side, a little further to the left can you help me wipe it down let me drive you home no need, no need, I'll leave with my friend if I stay with him any longer, my heart will explode hello, Song Ni O Niao, where are you? We should leave you leave first. Don't worry about me now is a crucial moment for my lifelong happiness I will send your clothes and bag to your house tomorrow I'm hanging up, by what the hell? Why did this girl act so unnatural? I told you, I'll take you home, at the front gate of Jiang house, where Jinlin just took Yao Yao home and it's already 10 pm, so Yao Yao did return to house before 11 as she promised her uncle I'll get off the car, goodbye so. Jinlin already knew that Yao Yao moved into Jiang house hold on what's the matter, you'll just leave like that? You don't have anything to say to me? Say what? I don't remember there's anything I need to say to him you, you, what are you doing when I visited Cheng's house in the afternoon, 
Lee Jing Mr. Bag of Specialties You just take it home Just a bag of broken specialties you still remember I thought he wanted to kiss I am leaving Bye ah uh, ah uh, I can't think about it anymore Yay oh yeah, You haven't returned my clothes yet sister Who drove you back just now Open the door sorry Sister I shouldn't say too much I'll open the door for you right away Yay oh yeah, uh, It's been five years if you want to blame Just blame me Don't embarrass Xuer anymore After all she is your younger sister too Ziliangchen, are you a dumb? Yao Yao, you we may have been friends before, but from the moment you betrayed me, you were nothing if you want to meddle in the Jiang family's affairs, I'll give you these three words, you, are not, qualified sister, I know you have never liked me, but Liang Chen is innocent, what you said is so unpleasant to eldest young lady eldest young lady is back oh yeah oh yeah. Why did you come back smelling of alcohol and wearing man's clothes? Are you in danger? Auntie will help you deal with it smelling of alcohol is of course going to a bar as for wearing man's clothes is because I had a date with a friend with benefits if there is anything else you want to ask, just ask it all at once are you hungry? Do you want the kitchen to make you something to eat? Where is your husband? Your father has a party tonight and hasn't come back yet since he is not here. Why are you still pretending to be here? Oh sure enough, it's much relaxed after becoming Mrs. Jiang, living in a big house, wearing gold and silver, eating well and drinking well no longer having to work hard to make money as before, and can also bring family to eat and drink at home stinky girl, who are you talking about eating and drinking? The one who stood up and admitted it, is eating and drinking all the time and yet is so confident and shameless yay oh yeah. How can you speak this way to your elders? Some of my elders are surnamed Jiang and some are surnamed Cheng. Which one of elders do you think you are? Why, you have occupied someone else's husband, and now you also want to steal someone else's daughter. In ancient times, you would be just a concubine even if you were favored and powerful. You wouldn't be able to make a name for yourself. This girl is too venomous. She is simply disrespectful. Wang Kai. You are too soft-hearted towards her she has already treated you like this, why are you still so polite to her, having no mother to raise her, it is no wonder he is so ill-bred who brought up about my mother just now, many theatre half an hour ago, I'm going back first ah, come on, are you really leaving, wait for me how much is your price, 800 yuan, is it enough, enough your son of the bee the little girl's quite impressive just wait. I'll make you obedient right away help someone come and save me arg who the hell is interfering? I'm your freaking dad mommy, I feel like I have met true love, 